Hi there, I'm Y Knight and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my video of Windows 8 and the UEFI boot feature. Um, I just downloaded Windows 8 Pro on the weekend. Uh, previously had Windows 7 Home Edition. Um, so I upgraded, um, backed up my hard drive first, then did a straightforward upgrade to Windows 8. Didn't take too long. Um, then I was doing some reading on the internet and found that because I had a Z77 board, I could boot uh, using UEFI instead of the traditional BIOS boot method. Um, so what I've done is followed a guide which I'm going to include a link to in my comments section below um, on how to uh, convert an already running system to use UEFI boot in Windows 8. Um, basically some videos I've seen um, suggest that this is very quick and also enables you to turn on the Windows 8 secure boot feature if you so wish. Um, the Windows 8 secure boot basically um, protects you from malicious viruses or trojans, um, anything trying to attack your computer during the boot phase. Um, so what we're going to do now is I've booted up into Windows 8, um, everything's enabled, so what I'm going to do is just shut down um, to a power off. So I don't know if you know how to do that in Windows 8, basically you move the cursor to one of the corners and you get the uh, little menu that pops out from the side. You click settings and you can click power and shut down. And basically the PC shuts down. So I'm going to give it about 10 seconds. I'm from the old school um, where we used to have big Winchester hard drives. Um, so I just like to make sure anything mechanical stop whirring away um, so that when we turn the power back on we don't break anything. Um, so that, I think that was probably long enough, about 10 seconds there. Turn the power on. Basically I get a little bit of a post um, just because I've got a RAID uh, 0 configured on two of my discs for, for my games. So we still see that, uh, which probably slows down the boot phase a little bit. Then we get the Windows 8 boot screen and straight into the long on screen. And not very long at all. Um, so if we do a log on there, I'll show you some of the settings. Uh, if we've got time, uh, so basically um, to get into the BIOS, um, because it's so quick it's hard to press the keys um, to get in on the boot screen, so what you can do is go back to your settings on the left, uh, right even. Um, a couple of funnies I've noticed booting from UEFI uh, or using fast boot. Um, sometimes the network card doesn't initialize, um, but that's quite easy to sort. If you go into Device Manager and then Detect Hardware, it just reappears. Uh, so if we go to Change PC Settings, there we go into a General, and scroll down. You get Advanced Startup. Select so Restart Now. In a second, it will bring up another menu. Basically we want to select uh, Troubleshoot, Advanced, and it gives you the UEFI firmware settings. So select that, do a restart. It should go straight into the settings screen on the motherboard. By the way, it's an MSI Z77 GD65. I've got an i5-2300. Um, did want a 2500K, but the 2500 was a price I couldn't refuse, um, and half the price of a 2500K. So basically if we go to uh, the settings, uh, we've got the boot settings, as you can see it's set to we'll use UEFI Windows Boot Manager. Uh, I've disabled the full screen logo, if we go in advanced, uh, on Windows 8 we've got the MSI Fast Boot enabled, and Windows 8 feature is disabled, that's the secure boot um, which I'm not using at the moment may look into that, um, if I do I'll create another video and that's basically it um, all you do then is um, you can shut down your PC with those settings selected What I have noticed is once you've been into the uh, settings and you reboot, it's the first boot after going into the settings. It takes a little bit longer. Um, 
I think there may be some data it stores to, to uh, facilitate the fast boot. Um, and that gets cleaned out, I think, when you go into settings. Um, so if you go into Windows once, then you shut down. Next time you start up, it's nice and quick. Busy, I'm going to shut down again to complete power off. There we go, the power's off. Give it 10 seconds. Okay, I'm going to power on. The uh, RAID post screen straight into Windows. And there's your on screen. Nice and quick. Not as quick as the Microsoft video I've seen, which I'll also include a link to in the comments section. Um, but there you go UEFI boot on Windows 8. Thanks.